Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of proportions, specifically, how we can find the part when we are given the whole in percent, and we will do so in 5 minutes or less. So let's take a look at this sample problem. Carl sorted his 490 Legos by colors, 30%, so it's written out there, so let's go ahead and write 30% here. Numbers of his Legos were red, so how many Legos were red? So when we're dealing with a problem like this, we need to make sure we keep in mind that a part divided by a whole, that's what gets us our percent. And so in a problem like this, we're going to be given two of these. We need to find the third. So let's go ahead and fill this out. He sorted his 490 Legos. That is his total number of Legos. So that is the whole. So I'm going to write that right here, 490 Legos. And that equals... 30% of his Legos were red, so that is going to be our percent here. 30% is red. So really what we're looking for is the part. What part of his whole was red? So we have our missing number right here. So now we can look at this proportion here. Let's go ahead and rewrite our 30% as a fraction. So we're going to write unknown over 490 equals 30% as a fraction is 30 over 100. And we can go ahead and reduce that. Let's drop those zeros there. Let's make that 3 tenths. Now, how can we find our missing number? Well, probably the easiest way to find this missing number is to use cross multiplication, or you might have heard of it as the butterfly method. What this means is that in any proportion here, as long as you have the equal sign, the numerator of 1 and the denominator of its opposite is equal when they're multiplied to the numerator and denominator of the other opposite. So here we go. 490 times 3 is going to equal our unknown times 10. So first let's go ahead and simplify here. Let's figure out what 490 times 3 is going to be. So 490 times 3 that's going to be 12, that's 14. So that's 1470. 1470 equals something times 10. Now we need to use our inverse operations. If we could just get rid of this times 10, we'll figure out what our unknown is. And the opposite, or the inverse of multiplication, is division. If we divide both sides by 10, times 10 and divided by 10 cancel each other out, so our unknown or a box it's by itself so now we have 1470 divided by 10 when you divide anything by 10 you just remove a zero if there is one if not you move the decimal once to the left so it looks like our answer is going to be 147 now how can we be sure that we did that right well if you want to check your work all you need to do is divide up that simply means you make this fraction into a division problem by dividing 490 into 147. And that's going to go in zero times, but we're going to have add a decimal and a zero, and it should be three, because 0 0.3, three tenths, is equal to 30%. So let's multiply. Let's make sure we got this right here. So that's going to be a zero. It's going to be seven, and that is going to be 12, 14. So there we go. So it is going to be 0 0.3 or 30%. So here's another problem. Tina surveyed her grade level. Of her 650 classmates, 68% said they would start school 10 minutes earlier for an extra 10 minutes of lunch. So how many students wanted a longer lunch? Well, in this case, we have a whole of 650 students. We have 68% wanting a longer lunch. The question is, is what is the part? How many students is that? So here's our equation. So let's go ahead and set that up as a proportion here. So unknown and 650. So that's going to equal 68% or 68 over 100. We can go ahead and reduce that by multi uh, dividing top and bottom by 2, make it a little bit smaller. So we're going to make that 34 over 50. Now we can do our cross multiplication. So we set up our cross multiplication equation here. 650 times 34 is equal to unknown times 50. So we need to figure out that 650 times 34 is 22,100. And then we need to divide both sides by 50 to get rid of that multiply by 50. And that's going to get you your answer of 442.